YouTube, it is Chris here, and in today's episode, I want to start off and say that I truly believe that a bow in a survival situation will be one of the most important tools for putting food in you or your family's stomach in a survival situation. If you're joining us for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our new episodes or our daily giveaways. And make sure you smash that notification button so you don't miss anything. Also, we have a new round of our Amazon gift card giveaways. To enter, you must be a subscriber, leave a comment, and share this video using the YouTube tools in the wash page below. We also pick winners in the very next episode, so if you enter on this particular giveaway, you'll find out who the winner is on the very next episode. For those of you who watch our channel regularly, you've actually seen our Phantom Recurve Takedown Bows in quite a few videos here recently. And uh, over the past few days, we've actually been training and shooting with them. My kids and my wife are beginners, so uh, be a little easy on them if you see any shots with them doing some stuff. But I grew up bow hunting, and my experience uh, for reference is with compound bows. Now, compound bows are a lot more powerful in general and more technical than a recurve bow. And though I think they're effective hunting tools, in a survival situation, I don't consider them a viable hunting tool because with all of the technical components that go into a compound bow, I, if, if any of those components break down or falter or malfunction at any point, you can't just go through and effectively or easily repair them or fix them in the field. Now the two systems, like I said, we are running, we are running the Phantom Bows by Mandarin Duck Outfitters. My wife is running 40 pound limbs and I'm running 45 pound limbs. We also like to use quick mount quivers on our systems and the systems we're running are the Great Northern Quick Mount Bow Quiver. And um, this is for my wife's, her, her rig is a lot more simple, it's much more instinctive. She just has a simple whisker biscuit and a quiver for her particular system and mine's a little more technical. Because of my background being comfortable with compound bows, I want sights and stabilizers and, and arrow rests that are gonna make give me more of that feel. And even though I'm using a recurve bow, it's much more comfortable. Now without letting this video take too long, we're just gonna be start plugging in footage of us being out there having fun and shooting and just kind of show you that even though I've been doing this my whole life, we still have issues where we mess up all the time. And to become effective in a survival situation, to procure food for your family, you definitely takes practice and dedication. It's something you're gonna have to dedicate yourself to just going out there, having fun, and practicing over and over and over and over and over again. And this is what this series is all about, is survival training, learning, dedication, and practice, and acquiring new skills. Apologize for the wind. It is extremely windy today, but we're shooting about, I don't know, 10, 12 yards. And uh, this is my second grouping of five. Um, I pulled a little bit, that's my fault. But um, now that I have my sights adjusted and we're getting long and heart shots, pretty good. Pretty happy with this, considering it's a new bow. I switched targets so I could have a higher contrast and see what I was hitting better and my first four shots were pretty dang good that was a really good grouping and I think it was mostly because I was getting antsy I'm not sure but I was jerking really bad on these last two shots they were awful A 
I'll take it. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed all that overlay footage that we were talking about. And like I said before, it is something that is designed to be fun and it takes a lot of practice. It is something that you're gonna have to just go for and just do. And even though I've been hunting for several years, I catch myself making some of the silliest and dumbest mistakes when shooting. It, it comes from jerking the bow when I release all the way to mounting the arrow wrong and the fletchings of the arrow on the wrong side and causes my arrow to fly cockeyed and sideways and I end up breaking my GoPro. So, uh, <laughs> and that was a very hard lesson to learn. It focus on mechanics, the basics, and doing everything properly. Otherwise, it could cost you $400. So I guess the moral of that story is, uh, if you ever get outside and you are, if you're a beginner, you've never done any type of bow hunting before, and there's a lot of great references on YouTube as well as you're gonna be seeing a lot more on our channel, is if you ever start getting frustrated and you just can't quite hit the target the exact same way even though you were you, you believe you're doing everything right you're checking your breathing the arrows are knocked everything is sighted in and you're following the path the arrow you, you you believe you're doing everything correctly just know that it can't be any worse than accidentally shooting your gopro and losing a 400 dollars camera <laughs> And under the guise of survival training, the one thing I would tell you is, I would say for the training portion, it should be relaxing, it should be enjoyable, and it should be fun. And if it gets to the point where it's not fun and you're not enjoying yourself outside shooting, I would say take a breather and just stop for the whole day. Just walk away from it for the whole day, relax, and come back to the next day or wait a couple days and then go for it again. But don't put yourself in a situation where you're just drowning yourself in absolute misery and you're just not hitting your target. And it gets to the point that, you know, with anything, with any type of sport, with any type of hobby you're hunting, any type of new skill you're trying to acquire, if you let, allow yourself to become unfocused and frustrated, you can have diminishing returns and you get to the point where you're just not even having fun and you're really taking away from the experience and the training and the learning. Because for me, the bow hunting, even though it's a fun hobby and a fun sport, I definitely want it to be a viable skill that my family and I have in a survival situation. Like I said, put food in our belly if we need it. The winner of yesterday's Amazon gift card giveaway is Boyd H. Congratulations, Boyd H. You are the winner, so definitely come to the back of the channel so we can get your contact details. But that just about it for now, and if you enjoyed our discussion of survival training with a takedown survival bow, definitely throw this video a big thumbs up and share this out with your friends and family in your social media networks so we can keep growing, thriving, and making awesome videos for you guys. But that just about it for now. Hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. I'm out.